the combo of the day. Very rare. Five and a half foot Larry Nixon Team Daiwa with the old school thumbscrew. Man, these are almost impossible to find. Daiwa told me this was about 1990. I had not realized that Team Daiwa went back to the way in 1990, but apparently it did. And of course, you got to pair it off with a Daiwa PS10. Probably my favorite reel of all time. Just can't kill these things. And look, Ma, no magnets. Are you ready to run a gun? It's time for blast off. Let's go. Hey guys, Todd here with you. Welcome back to Bassin 101. I try to make fishing simple for everybody. Oh, the old argument, pistol grip versus straight handle. Unfortunately, you can't get much pistol grip at all anymore. Not unless you want to build one. Um, as far as new manufacturers go, it's not out there unless you want to buy some cheap Shakespeare at Walmart for 10 bucks and get what you pay for. Other than that, you don't find them. And I, I think it's a shame because rod manufacturers, you know, they, they, they buckle down to, you know, the, the industry, you know, in, in the industry, the pistol grip doesn't work anymore. And so therefore they fall for the industry and they make what people want. Well, that's not dumb, but... The guys that still want to throw pistol grips, you're kind of making them having to build their own stuff, which actually I think you're better off anyway, building your own stuff. Um, but yeah, straight handle versus the pistol grip. Um, like I had in the intro, this is my old um, five and a half foot um, medium heavy worm rod. This sucker throws in three sixteenths to an ounce. I mean, it's got a very fast tip on it. Not real thick in the butt section, but I'll tell you what, you can't bend that dude, man. I mean, it's just crazy. Um, but it's extremely light for for what it is. And as far as my old uh, setups, this is my worming rod. This is what I throw worms on. And I like the old school pistol grip. I'm going to tell you why. I don't throw right-handed like you guys do, or most of you do. I throw left-handed. And when I throw left-handed, you notice I instantly cup that reel. I got the trigger right here between my pinky and the ring finger, and that's exactly where I fish it. Now, this exposes this back here. I can grab with that hand right there and baseball bat that sucker. I can throw this thing as, as far as your seven-footer. I'll put money on it. I've done it. You ain't gonna worry about that when it comes to a worm. But the point is, I have no issue throwing this. If this was my only choice, I had no issue throwing this whatsoever. I am fine with it, especially for my style of fishing. <clears throat> but what I like about it is there's nothing back here. So I can literally just put this right here, and this is how I fish. And if you look, I'm right straight ahead of me. I'm not back here. Like all your six and a half, seven footers, seven and a half, eight footers, all this kind of stuff. I don't like this because now I have the rod at an angle and I'm trying to do this with it. And that messes you up trying to watch a line. If you're right here and you go to set the hook, you're right there in the chest. You get that snap set going. That was the guide, don't worry. Um, but yeah, that's you get that snap set. Now, one difference is. When you go to make, it, or if you decide to build your own rod, this is my new ones. This is my jig rod with a pistol grip EVA foam. Now, 
The difference is, is that it's about an inch longer than the other one. You see that on top of each other, it's about an inch longer. But I can still put this right in front of me. It's a little further back than the old stuff is, but I can still put it right in front of me and fish it. And I'm always taking this hand and cupping. That's why I don't put a foregrip on the stuff I build, because I like to hold the blank. And that's where I stay the whole time. I don't use the real handle to set the hook. I got way too many scars to prove you shouldn't be doing that. I keep everything right here. And if I, if I get that hit, I can hit with everything I got right there. I actually learned this from Larry Nixon, watching him over the years and everything else. And, and just, you know, it's, it's just easier for me to work a worm, spin that handle and get it back. Just like this. But the whole time I'm cupping it. As soon as I come up, it's just like that. And I never fish past 11 o'clock. Usually I'll start at 9, go to 11, come back down on the real spin because I want to control that slack instantly because you'd be surprised how many times they hit right there. So that that's that one. But as far as um, stray handle goes, now this is the stray handle I built. Y'all saw this in another video I did. Um, with the dabbling video, but this is what I made for Carolina rigging, pitching, flipping, whatever. It's a six and a half footer with just an eight inch handle back. So I got more length out here than I do butt section. I don't like a long handle rod, but you have to have so much to balance the length of your blank. Okay, if I was to shorten this sucker down, this rod would weigh a ton and it would be, just be so out of balance you couldn't fish it. But eight inches for me was the max on this. I played around with the real seat length and I kept feeling everything and moving everything around until it felt where I wanted it while still keeping a short handle. I use a bigger butt section for stuff like this. I use a smaller butt section for my, for my cranking rod, which y'all saw in a previous video. Straight handles. Now you're stuck doing this. But what I like about the six and a half footer, the one I make, I can actually move it in a little bit. I'm not twisted so bad to keep it straight. I'm actually kind of comfortable and I can fish it like that. I have a very low angle, about that much angle right there. Unlike if you fish in one that goes way back behind you, now you're fishing out this angle. This is a much shallower angle, five degrees maybe. And so I like that. I can still keep everything in front of me to a point as I'm flipping and pitching or whatever, I can kind of still get that five degree angle, but I can still exactly see the straight, the straightness of that line. So that's that. There are advantages to uh, straight handle rods as far as if you're Carolina rigging, you know, I keep it right here in my gut. That's the reason I have the big ball on here for Carolina rigging. I can soon just do what I want, then I can use that whole entire leverage to set the hook on a Carolina rig. I used to, back in the day, Especially when I used to guide at a high, when I was in high school, I used Carolina rig with this. <laughs> a five and a half foot pistol grip, medium heavy. And I would actually Carolina rig with that dude because, you know, the tackle stores I went to, um, actually was a couple of them I was going to as a kid. I just, you know, I had a paper route at the time and I, I, I couldn't afford the, the higher dollar rods, you know, I mean, I, I, that's, that's just the way it was. That's like when I was guiding in high school. Guiding back in those days, I didn't have a ton of money either. So I had like three or four. Actually, I had, I had three. I had three um, five and a half foot bait casting combos. The PS10, a Mag Force, and an old Ryobi V Mag 3. Little EDB little boogers. That thing wouldn't cast for nothing. <laughs> uh, I needed ball bearings, I think. But. Um, you know, it, it's all personal choice. Um, don't let me sit here and tell you that this is what you I'm not going to tell you that. Um, I think I'm going to tell you about straight handle. I, I think you just need to experiment. I know a lot of you guys that watch this channel, the older guys, you know, my age and even older. And y'all still have told me, or y'all have told me that you still throw pistol grips. And that's, that's awesome. Um... Because there's really nothing wrong with these rods. It's just that 
as things evolve throughout the years, these are forgotten. And I can understand that, but don't forget about them, man. These things are not a joke. These things are very useful. It keeps everything right here. And you think you have to have 15 feet sitting in front of you of a rod blank so you can get the long hook sitting or whatever. Well, it sounds to me like you're not keeping control of your fish very well. A shorter rod puts you closer to the fish. You'll feel the bite a whole lot quicker. And just you know, there's nothing wrong with like the old like what Larry Nixon used to do. You know, he'd hook set the hook once, start fighting the fish, and hook set that thing again. Do what you gotta do. I mean, you know, braid works on these, floor carbon works on these. I mean, if you want to go with the new school stuff, I'll be honest with you though. I just probably from where I grew up, and some of you guys might disagree. But the old pistol grip stuff. I don't like using the brand new reels on them. They don't. They don't feel right. They don't. They don't feel comfortable. If you had a straight handle, that's a different story. If it's a little bit longer rod, then that those new reels feel a lot more comfortable. But the older reels on these rods, to me, just it just feels a lot better. And honestly, I think these are built better than the new reels. But that's just my opinion. But that's another video down the road. But that's what I wanted to throw out to you guys. Um, get my two new ones back out here again that I built. You know, you got a pistol grip and you got a straight handle. And really, if you think about it, this is the longest straight handle that I made. And if you put them side by side, as you see, there's not a tremendous amount of difference in length. Let me get these things even. There you go. There's not a tremendous difference in length. Three inches. Three and a half inches. So, but this to me is my big string handle rod. And I built several of these uh, pistol grips because I like using them for certain techniques. My jig rod, my spinnerbait rod, and my worm rod. All three are pistol grips. But now, Look how much handle I got back here now. You can actually see the back of it in my hand with this new one. And I can really just get that whip all I want to. But to be honest with you, the only one I'm going to do that with is going to be the spinnerbait rod. Jig, worm. I'm not going to make these 100, foot, 100 yard casts. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to stick to just a simple type deal. You got to love those millionaire CVZs. Have you seen the price on eBay lately? Oh my gosh. Glad I have these. Um, but yeah, this is this is not a permanent reel anyway for these. just something I've been throwing around with. But there you go, guys. Personal preference. You get more leverage with a, with a straight handle rod. Absolutely. You get more leverage in casting. You get more leverage in fighting the fish. Pistol grips. You can kind of keep it close to you. You can feel everything a lot better. Uh, and you're also closer to the fish because of the pistol grip. What I made, this is a six foot rod, but the blank, this is a this is an MHX Elite Series that I built, but the, the rod weighs an ounce. So there's nothing here. So I can get away with a six footer, especially with a little bit longer pistol grip, like what this is. That extra inch makes a world of difference. Don't think it don't. It really does. It makes a world of difference. Um, when I was messing around with the straight handle on that one I built, I went, I messed, the difference between 7 inches and 8 inches as far as the length on the backside was huge in how that rod felt. I mean, massive difference in just that one inch. Big, big difference. So keep that in mind if you decide to build your own. But that's what I got, guys. Um, you know, there's advantages and disadvantages to everything. Um, you know, if you if you two hand a lot, you want to get distance as a two handed rod, or a straight handed straight handled two handed rod. Keep in mind one important thing though. Um, the manufacturer straight handle rods are obsessively too long. They don't need to be that long. Um, let me give you an example. Okay, here's an example. Now this is the cranking rod that I built. 
this only has a seven and a half inch back. It's a six foot, so it's a seven inch back. Six foot three, so it's not super long, but the shorter back. This is a Dobbins seven footer. Now, granted, there's nine inches of difference, right? Look at the difference in the size of those handles. Now, you're thinking, well, six foot three versus seven foot. I agree. Let me show you the difference in rod length. Seven footer, six foot three. There is exactly just over one hand distance, that much difference in length. That's it. Six foot three, seven foot. Way too long of a handle, in my opinion, for a seven footer. It could be about right here. It'd probably be fine. And you would get that extra two more inches of length in your rod. So don't think this because you're getting a long rod with a straight handle that you're getting more rod. Really not. Perfect example is a, a straight handle six foot rod is almost the same length as a five and a half foot pistol grip because they're adding more length to that back. That's something you gotta, you know, look into when, when you're going to buy rods. Look for stuff like that. I mean, you know, why is a seven foot rod is gonna get me everywhere I want to go with it? Yeah, but if you got two freaking feet hanging behind the back of this reel seat, you're not getting any more length. Okay, what they're trying to do is they're trying to make that rod as light as they can possibly make it. And I will admit, this thing is light. This Dobbins is light. Dobbins does not make crap. They make really, really good rods. But I just, I don't like that long handle. And I, I've tried these, I've tried this Dobbins, and as great as this Dobbins is, this Dobbins is amazing. I'm just not a big fan of that really long handle because now I'm stuck back here. And look where my rod angle is. Oh, I can go straight if I want to twist, but do you want to twist while you're fishing? No. You want to be comfortable when you're fishing. So, this to me is my cranking top water jerk bait and everything, seven inch back, because it puts me right here, and I can, and again, small ball, and I can work a top water however I want to do it. We don't want the big ball like this on the other one because that's that's for soft plastics. This is more for constantly beating the side of your arm with a rod. And that smaller ball makes a huge difference. And yet it's also I've also modified that ball to where it really is rounded and fits that really really, really good so it doesn't bother me. Another advantage to building your own rods. But that's down the road. I'm gonna do a video on that down the road. So I hope this helps you out guys. Um, Again, you new subscribers, welcome aboard, man. I'm glad to have you. Love to hear your input, what you think about things like this. Because, you know, a lot of stuff I do on here is old school. But a lot of it's new school, too. And custom building and everything else. And I'm just trying to give you an idea of what's going on as far as tray handles versus pistol grips. Because, like I said, this Dobbins is a, I'm just an amazing rod. I mean, I, I, I bought it for jig fishing and, and worm fishing and... It's amazing. I just don't. I just found out I just didn't like that. You don't know. You throw it on the water. I spend a few hours with it. See how see how comfortable it is. How uncomfortable it is. It's just up to you. So until next time, guys. May the Father bless you and keep you in Yeshua's name. And as always, fish on.